Way to Wisdom. Okay, E4. Let's see. What am I doing here for E4? I think I did the uh, Sicilian last. So let's do a French. And uh, plays the win hour, or allows the win hour. <clears throat> okay, plays the main line. Still the main line. So now I think uh, moves are uh, knight e7 or queen uh, c7. I've been playing this uh, queen c7 move. It has ideas of coming down here to attack when the c file opens up. And way to wisdom is thinking. <clears throat> And the main move is to bring the queen out to g4. Typical idea. The idea of the queen on c7 is it actually defends the g-pawn. So queen to g4, you can play f5, hitting the queen and defending the g-pawn. And if he takes on passant, the knight develops. So usually the queen moves. And then uh, the game continues from there. <laughs> Okay, way to wisdom. I, I got you out of your opening book, it appears. Okay, just played f4. That's a reasonable way to play as well. Let's see. This idea still works. If he plays queen g4, I can still play f5 takes I can still take so I'll leave the king side alone and develop and put pressure on the center typical typical play yeah with the queen staying in place here on the uh, on the back rank then this attack on c3 is not as promising Okay, let's start to, um, well, one more move, and then I'll start developing the king side. <clears throat> I just realized I didn't know if I wanted him to take on uh, c5 there, and I wasn't ready to uh, take on d4 yet either. Didn't think it was ripe. Oh, he's just going to go all guns blazing. Okay, pawn to g4. Okay, let's uh, close the queen side then and prepare to castle on the queen side. Uh, yeah, castling would be a little dicey on the queen side if he took my c pawn and I took back with the b pawn. That would be. Maybe that's one of the downsides of playing that b6 move. It would open up the b file, so wouldn't wouldn't really like my king would not be comfortable over there. So I'm going to um, develop like this. And he's put his king over there on the king side where things are all open. Interesting. So I'm going to keep my knight here, defending the king side, ready to take on. Um, ready to take on uh, a5 if that pawn comes forward. Okay, so he's hitting the uh, c pawn here, or f pawn rather, and uh, and it's also threatening a fork. So let's uh, develop my knight, defend the pawn, and maybe play uh, f6. <clears throat> okay, looks like he wants to bring his queen over there. 
Let's see if we can uh, open up some lines here on that king side. There should be a price to pay eventually here. Hey, he goes back. So I could play um, g4, g5 rather. If I play f5, he might just um, advance. Okay, he has the idea of bringing his queen to h5 here, I guess, h4. I would like to get my knight to f4, but that doesn't look like it's happening. Let's bring a rick over and then play um, g5, maybe. Maybe I could have played g5 right away. But, okay, brings his queen over there anyway. Ah, I see. He's attacking the, um, the f-pawn. And if I play g5 like I want to, then he can take my knight. Let's see. If I move my knight, he will take on f6 twice. But that will open up the g file. So maybe that is actually OK. Let's try this. <coughs> Otherwise, I'm going to play f5. It's also h5, I guess, as an idea. But he could just push the g-pawn forward. He pushes a g-pawn forward anyway. Okay, so we will take here, and play like this. <clears throat> so I'm giving up a pawn here, but I'm opening up lines. He takes, I take. I'm hitting his queen. Queen takes, I'm hitting his bishop. So not losing the pawn immediately, although in the long run I will lose that pawn, I think. So now maybe I can get, he didn't uh, ever try to get anything against my king over here. He just tried to attack on the king side where his king is. <clears throat> it's interesting. So he gave up the bishop. Does he have uh, an idea here? Is there a check? Is there a big threat? I don't see it. Maybe he forgot about it. <laughs> uh huh. He's just going to charge on in. Do drop in. Let's offer a queen trade here. Okay, so he hits my rook. Let's um, 
attack this pawn here. Oh, I can't. Can't do that. Let's see. I can take a pawn over here on c3, but does that really help my cause? Well, maybe um, the knight can break in here. Okay, he can chase my queen back. That's true. Okay, so, you know, my pieces are not well organized here. The knight is doing a good job defending some key squares. I could say the same thing about the bishop, but... Um, but how do, I, how do I chase his pieces away? <laughs> They're kind of annoying all around my king like that. Yeah, I guess I need to uh, get my queen in the game, huh? Maybe the queen can come in via the, um, the A file here. Queen here, and then I'm threatening rook to g3 check. Queen takes a3. And I'm hitting his rook. He's also got a big threat over here, so I have to, I have to be careful here. But uh, I think this was a time for firing. Firing. Ah, the, the um, yeah. That defense. <clears throat> ah, he's going to play that way. Okay, so he's going to bring his rook here. I see, with the check and then get a queen. Hmm, yeah, my checks are not happening fast enough. Let's see, I could go here with check. Or here with check. I go here with check, the king moves. get around to where I defend my rook. I mean, well, I can sacrifice the rook for the pawn, I guess, by stepping my king up. And then I'll still have threats over here. Not entirely happy with this. But his king is exposed too. <clears throat> so I could take now, he takes with the rook or the queen. Ah, I could bring my knight here. Just round up that pawn. <clears throat> well, uh, Mr. Mr. Wisdom here made an interesting fight of this. So now uh, the bishop went there. 
it's no longer guarding this square. Let's see, so I take rook takes. Knight takes, queen takes, and then. Hmm. I've got a bunch of pawns and an exposed king. Let's see how it goes. <laughs> but uh, I feel like I need to eliminate that threat. So even material and I'm up in pawns and his king is kind of exposed here. However, my king is also in somewhat trouble of somewhat in a precarious situation. But yeah, if I can just block his rook off of the f file here, then maybe he can't uh he can't really do much here. If he plays rook to uh, e1, I've got queen to c3, hitting the pawn, hitting the rook. He resigned. Yeah, I think, um, right, if we look at the material, I'm just uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, six pawns against two. He can win one pawn, but uh, should be able to break through with his exposed king. So, interesting game. Uh, hope you guys enjoyed it, and I will see you next time. Bye.